What is going on? We're gonna try to uh, finish this game. Um, let me make sure I got everything. I might even play a little DVD tonight. I don't know. I'm feeling it. But here we go. You learn two things in detective school. First, always keep your files neat and orderly. And second, a case that involves a missing blonde will inevitably drive you to drink. Still, something about this case intrigued me. Besides, I was between clients at the time, and certain bill collectors were starting to get ugly. The papers said she was last seen in Durhatchet Hollow, walking her chihuahua through a nearby graveyard. Not much to go on, but I had to start... I have Buffy story. MacGuffin. She's the MacGuffin of the story. The MacGuffin's just an object that they put into a story to get people to do things. He wanted money, all right, you, but it was for a good cause. All proceeds go to the oh orphanage and are, of course, tax deductible. I don't mean to pry, but your secretary mentioned that you might be driving out to Durhatchet Hollow tonight. It's a very evil place. I want you to have this. It may save your life. It's a vial of holy water. Twelve dollars. Tax deductible. All right. Take a hike, sweetheart. He wanted money, all right. Inspector, Mr. Vasolini wants to give you five good reasons why you should pay him the money tonight. As I slowly regained consciousness, I was touched by my secretary's concern. Ed, are you all right? Poor kid was crazy about me. Don't you think you ought to start looking for that Poor girl? Poor kid. I mean, I'd like to get paid this week, too, you know. Six older than me back then. So, you know, now. The Durhatchet Institute was founded by a Nobel Prize-winning scientist who disappeared in the late 50s, leaving the place deserted for nearly 30 years. I walked up the creaking front steps and turned the knob. Locked. I got the answer one might expect from an empty house. Silence. <laughs> As I walked oh, around the house, too. I saw an open window high above me. A little further along, I found a ladder leaning next to another window. No. I took it on since you saw me from uh, the game Huh. Are you 300 now? Yeah, I'm playing Alien in Isolation. So I. Cool. The grounds around the institute were dense and overgrown. One could easily get lost in these woods. Within moments, Ooh, got an achievement. I realized I was lost in the woods. You can tell the voiceover is a little different. I think this is probably part of the, the redo. Um. Wandering aimlessly. At 
long last oh, I saw the Institute shot. in the distance through the trees. And in the other direction, what appeared to be a cemetery. You can tell that's a little model. That's cute. The, the graveyard. graveyard was quiet. I decided to act like the scriptwriter and go in search of a plot. I found the marker for the Durhatchet family not. tomb. <laughs> I ran as fast as I could towards Durhatchet Manor. I spotted a rotted chest in the bushes but had no time to stop. Keep going. That looks like the pirate. For the extremely bizarre. Um. Naturally, there was a key that fit the front door under the mat. So we tried all the different options. The stench was awful. It was like entering a tomb. So I found out that this was actually filmed right, in, a, in an abandoned uh, mental I felt a cold institution. Chill on the back of my neck. During the winter of 84, February of 84. As I ascended the rotting staircase, I began to feel as if I were being followed. From the top of the stairs, I could see a woman. Okay, below. and I found out that this is the lady that put the bow on Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> it's that's crazy. She, she's actually kind of cute as a demon. Her skin erupted as the water splashed onto her. The stench <laughs> was awful. The second floor looked dark and uninviting. My fear faded as I fled. I felt fine till I fell. So I flipped over and found I'd been followed by a fanged femme fatale with a fried finger. I hated to be rude, but sometimes you got no choice. Mm -hmm. As I stood up, a strange mist started to come in from under the door. The only other door led to a closet. I want to sneeze really bad. <laughs> I hesitated before entering the closet. Was I a man <coughs> or a mouse? I decided to give it serious consideration from inside the closet. In the darkness, I became aware of something gnawing on my ankle. So I switched on the lights. Rats. Rats. I turned on the light and discovered a stairway. The stairs led to an attic. A trail of green ooze leading off to my left. And in the other direction, piles of old junk near an open window. The slime led to a glowing crystal sphere next to a rotting, slime-covered pirate chest. As I gazed into the sphere, I saw a piece of garlic, followed by a mouth only an orthodontist could love. Kind of looks like Shao Kahn, not gonna lie. 
I opened the stinking rotted pirate chest and discovered, naturally, a stinking rotted pirate. That's who's up. Knife in That's one right. hand, small wooden box in the other. I reached for it, but I wasn't quick enough. While I struggled to keep the pirate down, I was also struggling to keep my lunch down and not do it well <laughs> in either department. Well, that's a that's a nasty looking costume, that mask. Pick up the treasure box. The moment I touched the box, the pirates started to laugh. <laughs> Then he shook his head and disappeared. I slammed the lid down. Despite the open window, the attic smelled musty. The smell seemed to be coming from a large wooden crate. Then I saw it, and vice versa. Ooh, that's this is new. Whatever it was, flew at my head and knocked me to the ground. It looked angry. I pushed it away and looked for a weapon. Batting practice, okay. I grabbed the bat with both hands and swung it away from me. To say it looked angry would be a gross understatement. I grabbed the rope and a trap door opened. I fell for what seemed to be a long, long time and hit the ground hard. <clears throat> Fortunately, I broke my fall on something soft. Well, well, what do you think you're doing? Mother doesn't like anybody playing in her laundry. Do you, Mom? That's right, stay out of my laundry. Why don't you run up those stairs where that butler's been nice enough to hold the elevator for you? I'm just a frail old lady who isn't. That's right, you heard her. This guy was obviously a psycho. Wamp wamp. On the steps above me, a green ghoul gestured gracefully. Approached the zombie reluctantly like the music and asked here. him who his tailor was. His response was to push me backwards into a rickety old freight elevator. One floor, please. One floor, please. Always takes me in the first, so we we know that. I'll make it seem first like it's my floor, choice. Everybody out. Watch the door. We arrived on the first floor and I got off. The room was crawling with vermin. It was one of Vasolini's boys. Inspector, ah, you're a hard man to locate. Secretary told me I could find you here. Time's up, Gumshoe. Mr. Vaseline's authorized me to pick up on all outstanding home improvement calls. I wondered if I should warn him. <laughs> ah! 
I grabbed the gun and ran into the next room. I think that was the guy that punched me. The next room I came to had nothing in it but a bottle of clear liquid. Suddenly, the wall started tumbling down. Smashing through the wall was my buddy, the gangster. Now some kind of zombie. The gangster? I struck a match and tossed it his way. That seemed to discourage him. The next room I came to had nothing in it. There was an old freezer on one side and a wall full of potions on the yeah, other. Man. Just as I started to examine them, I heard a scream. I read the labels. Extra strength potion, instant steak pill, anti-grav tablets. I wasn't hungry now, but an instant steak might come in handy later. Stick to your ribs. Here's the the hippie. Ignoring the fumes, I opened the freezer. Yeah, man. Only to find another prisoner of this horrible place. Oh, far out, man. Thank you very much. You're a beautiful bird. No, that's okay. I'm cool. Man, I thought I was going to be stuck in here forever, man. There are some crazy people running around this house, man. A couple of chicks you got to watch out for. <laughs> Um, you know, if today's Thursday, I gotta be at a Jefferson If I played Airplane, this game in front of my older brother, my brother would well, love this guy. My brother's house. He lives in Fresno. Um, you wouldn't have a car by any chance. You wouldn't be going near Fresno area. Uh, Fresno's really not that far. Uh, who put this tag on I think on they're in Chicago at the time. He was, unfortunately, an obnoxious jerk who didn't have anything money. intelligent to offer. I got money. money. <laughs> um Hey man, you don't want to be messing with those chemicals, man. They're bad for your karma. <laughs> your karma. I gave him five God, that pisses me off. The like, there's a commercial I saw where this guy, he keeps doing this, and uh, this guy's, it's like cash for cars, and he keeps paying the wife. And um, I'm like, I would break that guy's hand if he kept doing this, like, give us more money. Like, you can go As I ran yourself. into the next room, I heard the scream again. Returning to the hall, I glanced up to where the sound came from. <laughs> That's a weird thing. The was thrashing about wildly, so I backed up and gave him plenty of room. He fell on his head. <laughs> I ran through the door and found myself near the elevator. I pushed the button and waited. There was a green door to my left and a stairway to my right. I'm gonna do 
see the stairs again. At the top of the stairs, I saw an ugly dwarf. This is the master's private property. It's my job to see that it remains private. Private eye versus private eye gore, eh? When he moved, I jumped over the railing. <laughs> I like the music. It was a long way to the first floor, and Laughing Boy was no help at all. Boy, that would, even acting, like, smashing my fingers like that. Mm -mm. I grabbed his shirt and flipped over the rail. <laughs> the second floor looked dark and uninviting. The room I next entered was obviously a library of some sort. There was a door to my left, another dead ahead, but most of the action was taking place in the kitchen on my right, where someone was practicing a bizarre form of culinary preparation. Someone had left a fire burning. The room was dark, so I lifted the shade to allow some moonlight to filter in. Vladimir told me I would not be disturbed. You can see the uh, how cold it is his breath. I suppose an evening of intellectual stimulation tucked away from that dog-eat-dog -dog world is simply too much to ask. I started to apologize, hoping he would change his outlook. He did more than that. I don't know how long I was out. But someone or something had dragged me to a cellar below Durhatchet Manor. As I struggled to clear my head, I clicked on my flashlight and looked around. Any fool could see that the place had more than its share of dingbats, and I was no exception. I like this game, but when you die, it just, oh my god. <laughs> It was there, in the cellar, that I discovered the little man with the evil grin. Ed Boon. I thought the Count of your arrival. He insists that you stay for dinner. For dinner! You like that? Would you like that? Oh. I have to be in one of these games. I have to, one of these days. Oh, man. He fell for it, so I took the opportunity to bash him in the chops. I never hit a man when he's down, but I knew I should have made an exception when I felt his fingers on my throat. I swear to God, this dude, he's got to be related to Ed Boone. I flipped him into his coal bin and ran into the darkness. Ran into the darkness. Okay. Search the cellar. I wandered into what looked like an ancient Egyptian low-rent housing project. <coughs> Excuse me. I 
could make out. I wish I could pause this because I got one curse. Open the door. Ham, honor, I. The curse of Ham on Rye. When I turned to leave, I saw someone blocking the door. Obviously, the tomb's present resident. Just then, I spotted a prowler at the window. behind a bush and watched him ransack the tomb. Oh! Oh! That made my junk hurt. <laughs> Apparently, the basket had a curse on it. The curse of Ham on Rye. Excuse me. I watched in silence as the basket was filled with jewels by the mummy of Hamon Rai, who nearly got grilled in the process. watched from the doorway, I examined the contents of the basket. It's a young hand right there. I took the scroll and started to unroll it. A fungus started to form on my hand. I love the Easter egg. It I actually turned out this, that the uh, scroll was nothing more or less than the credits of <laughs> this low-budget picture. The curse, however, was real. I removed the jewels and left the room. On the steps above me, a green ghoul gestured gracefully. That's gotta be crazy to smoke in that mask. It's gotta, it's gotta stink. What floor, please? I approached the zombie reluctantly and asked him who his tailor was. His response was to push me backwards into a rickety old freight elevator. What floor, please? Can you imagine that being that being your job, the elevator guy? Make it look like my first floor. Again. Everybody out! Watch the door. We arrived on the first floor, and I got off. Oh no! I don't want to do this again. At the top of the stairs, I saw an ugly dwarf. This is the boss's private property. It's my job to see that it remains private. Private eye versus private Igor, eh? When he moved, I jumped over the railing. <clears throat> it was a long way to the first floor, and Laughing Boy was no Oof. help at all. Your fingers. I grabbed his shirt and he flipped over the railing. <laughs> the second floor looked dark and uninviting. <laughs> the 
The room I next um, entered he goes was back in the, a library of the some kitchen. Sort. There was a door to my left, another dead ahead, but most of the action was taking place in the kitchen on my right, where someone was practicing a bizarre form of culinary preparation. We're gonna get that garlic. I couldn't put my finger on it, but there was something odd about the woman in the kitchen. Uh, if you're hungry, get it yourself! There ain't no room service in this hotel! I think maybe it was her three-day beard. Inside the cupboard was a rose, a clove of garlic, and a couple of potatoes. I reached in and took the clove of garlic. What do I now? You bully your appetite! <laughs> I tiptoed out of the kitchen and left her to her work. I like this little jingle right here, carried too. carried a musty odor to my sensitive nostrils. This room seemed to be a lavatory. There was something odd about it, and then I realized what it was. The room smelled like wet dog. Wet dog. <laughs> Suddenly, I realized that someone was coming up behind me. Poor mess. Thinking quickly, I stepped into the shower and pulled the curtain closed. A hairy paw reached I like how it's like unplugged it that's plugged. I peered around the corner and oh, this saw is really bad. a she-wolf busily primping herself for a night on the town. <laughs> yeah, do the wolf whistle. I whistled. She turned and giggled like a schoolgirl. Then she started towards me. She leaned forward and planted a wet, sloppy kiss on my lips. Oh, Jesus. Then stepped aside to let me pass. Oh my god. I stopped for a moment near the doorway to pick up a playing card for good luck. I rounded the corner and very nearly bumped into a female vampire. She was just starting to leave when I gave myself a She's away. She's a too. I hid, made a noise <laughs> like a rat, and when I re-entered the room, it was empty. There was a closet in the corner with doors on either side of it. Um, is it double doors? I opened the double doors and ducked as a broken down bed bounced into the room. She rose from the bed like smoke from the burning book. I yanked the sheet from under her feet and cracked her head as she fell off the bed. Eat your heart out, Mother Goose. You notice the last couple of characters, their eyes are super red. I opened oh, the closet door great. and hurried in. A moment later, I was in another hallway. I was reaching for the door handle when suddenly... The one you seek is in that room. She's got a really but nice voice. Be living with you. Do you want to know why? 
Sure, I'll bite. Um, okay, I'll bite. Because of the inherent power of the vampire over the inferior human will. Then she smiled, revealing teeth that would look more at home on a wolverine. <laughs> Do an ASMR. When she grabbed me, I grabbed my hat. No. No. That's cute. As soon as I entered the room, I saw the girl on the bed. I had to move fast. The hat trick wouldn't buy me much time. It looks like one of the trances burns themselves. I hid behind the curtain and watched in horror as the room filled with female vampires. The one in the middle and the one on the left are not the one I slammed against the wall. Okay, um, pull the pool over their eyes. Yes. When they looked my way, my reaction was instantaneous. I pulled the curtain down and used it to diffuse their bloodlust. See, it looks like the spider gets burnt. I grabbed my hat and got out the way I got in. <laughs> um, quickly find the stairs. In my haste to escape, I managed to trip over the bed. They burst into the room. I remained where I was till the last possible second. Then jumped up, grabbed the bed, and flung it into the wall. <laughs> the fire from the book had spread to the walls. Um, yeah, the hallway. I backed out of the room. I called the elevator and got right in when it arrived. Twenty thousand. I stumbled into some kind of witch's coven. Best not stick around, cutie. No. Morbius not playing with a full deck tonight. <laughs> I pulled the card out of my pocket. The witches seemed pleased. Thanks to you, Morbius is now playing with a full deck. We are in your debt. But do not try our patience. I will tell of the unbridled wickedness of Count Vladimir Yorchikonsky. Yorchikonsky. If I tell your fortune, the debt will be paid. If I tell your fortune, the debt will be paid. is the true master of this house. To oppose him is to gamble with your life. Pick a card. I picked a card. She didn't seem happy. Luck is on your side, mortal. This much I will tell. Hard to swallow. <laughs> mm. Now go. The steak pill.
there was some kind of laboratory just ahead. I had no idea which this way. This is where to I turn. dived uh, yesterday. I got all the way up to like the sledgehammer. I thought I heard someone coming. I tried to hide. No sense trying to hide, Mr. Spectre. I am Baron Otto der Hatchets, and your name is Mud. We have ways of dealing with trespassers here. What could I do? He had a gun. <laughs> okay, emphasize the, the gun. Think fast, gumshoe. You take three trips on a merry-go-round and grab seven rings each trip. What do you get? Hey, Justin, what's up? A difficult question. It should be 21, but he likes the answer nine. Very good. I could use a brain like yours in my latest experiments. Have a seat, Mr. Spectre. I had little choice. He was carrying a gun. Um, the pen works great. Yay! I said, sit down. Day's good. How about yours, man? The chair looked comfy, so I sat down. Just trying to beat this game. The chair strapped me in automatically. In just a few minutes, your brain will be occupying that massive body. Does the concept appeal to you? Was he kidding or what? I've been smashing demon ass and evil dead. Oh, nice. Man, Nona's been playing uh, Alien Isolation, and man, she's been enjoying that one. Have you ever played that one? Count Vladimir Yorchakonsky. You know, if he hadn't persuaded me years ago to have a, a simple brain operation, I... I probably still would be working for the good of mankind in hangnail research. Baron Der Hatchet was nutty as a fruitcake. Um. No matter. Let the experiment begin. <laughs> <laughs> I love the those special effects. Those are casino noises. It's hard to describe what happened next. <laughs> Can't say I heard of it. Oh, you should check, look into it, man. It looks pretty good. Coming to life before your very eyes. If I lived through this, I was going to need a new suit. I got the right up to the sledgehammer part. Me from my bonds and yank me from my chair. <laughs> While the monster giggled, <laughs> the lab continued to fill like with that. smoke. I looked around for a means of escape. A sledgehammer sat on a ledge below a gas mask in the corner. Right, we're gonna do the sledgehammer now. I did gas mask yesterday. I couldn't budget, but Larry Lugnut hoisted the huge hammer without popping a stitch. The machine looked ready to explode. I hadn't a moment to lose. I clambered out the open window as fast as I could. The ladder beside the window led to the roof. I stepped onto the roof and looked back. I had been followed. <laughs> The 
The creature advanced and I retreated with dignity till I felt his icy hand on my ankle. Kick up your Sunday shoes. Such an 80s reference. I gave him a taste of my shoe leather. <laughs> then oh. I ran up the rooftop till I saw what lie ahead of me. <coughs> I was definitely in trouble. Fuck. Uh, what do I do? I ran and jumped and grabbed the gutter to prevent a three-story drop. There was a window in front of me just beyond my reach. I tumbled through the window and fell hard. Someone or something was sitting across the attic from Ooh, me. Ooh, this is using my game over screen. At long last, the detective decides to pay a visit to his host. Have you enjoyed our hospitality so far? <laughs> it was difficult not to listen. His voice had a strong hypnotic effect. But I, I know, know you. you. Each time you last in consciousness, I get to know you a little better. Come sit. Drink with me. It's something I picked out close to your heart. That was my heart. blood he was sucking on. you think I know where she is? Did you visit the hatchet before coming to see me? Always count your Jekonski before their hatchet. <laughs> I'm holding man, this is intense. This is the furthest I've gotten. I couldn't believe it. Was he really dead? Set his ass on fire. Things along. Wizard of Oz reference. Count your Chukutsky was history, and I'd be in the same boat if I didn't haul ashes in a hurry. There we go. Keep the game. I got. I just got the achievement. I tried the window open and jumped through. I got all the achievements in the game. I was running through the woods when I spotted my secretary up ahead. <coughs> Would she be glad to see me? She was crazy about me, poor kid. Poor kid. Sorry, Ed, but you've got to learn not to sneak up on people like that. Where have you been? I've been looking all over for you. I heard when they were filming this, it was freezing. For that rich kid. <laughs> Seems she wasn't missing after all. Her parents just never thought to look in her bedroom. Are you okay, Ed? You don't look so good. 
Nice MacGuffin. They got me into the house and then... Um, review the case. It had not been what I would call a typical A case. new voiceover. And, to be honest, there were a few times when I thought I wouldn't make it. But good triumphed over evil, and young girls everywhere could once again sleep late in their bedrooms. Case closed. There we go. I beat the game. I just beat the game completely. Got all the achievements. I only died once. Yeah, I got pretty gosh darn close. Forty-four thousand. <laughs> you missed it. Hey, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna um highlight this and put it on, and then upload it to YouTube. A lot of people liked um, the the original, the first video I did of this on YouTube. It's the views just keep going up. It's crazy. Like I, if you type in the Spectre Files Deathstalker, my video is like the third one that pops up on on your search. Okay, so we beat it. Oh, it's a great game. I love it. So if you want to see this, so this is the about section. Um, so I, I did look this game up. Um, so this was, this guy filmed the game in February of 84. It's freezing cold. He filmed it in a, an abandoned insane asylum that had electricity in it. And, uh, there are certain scenes where if you, cause I, I watched him. He says, if you, if you notice them talking, you'll see their breath cause it's so cold even though they're supposed to be inside. And uh, there was something like, the manufacturer that he was gonna go through was a Laserdisc company, Laserdisc, but they ended up putting it on a, um, a game disc. And the game disc was like a record player back in the day. So if it got jarred, it would just skip or scratch and it'd ruin the whole thing versus a Laserdisc. And so once um, Midway found out about it, that the manufacturer was kind of hokey they pulled the plug on all the projects for laser disc uh games you can see what's called yeah the little details like that i liked i really liked watching um the making of for this and then we will close oh shit i hit said escape but there we go we just we just beat the game so all right um maybe i'll play a little bit of dvd i think that's what i'll do Cause I'm gonna highlight, so. Oh. Best Easter candy on the planet. Don't even at me, like the kids say. Oh, I'm gonna close the door. 